the whole way around the course I'm very happy I think it's a nice free start not particularly strong not too weak though enough certainly to see if we should be taking him to Blenheim which is the whole point of this this mission really Had a couple of fantastic runs around two star level since Bramham um, and I just genuinely think Bramham was just a step too far hey everyone uh, sorry Seriously downbeat. Um, didn't do a DB after the dressage, but I was absolutely chuffed to bits with that. A couple of obvious mistakes that obviously you will see for yourself, but the mark was really nice. You know, had he have not done those, would have been on an early 50. So again, really getting there, really getting him. Um, yeah, we're just really getting him confident. You know, working at freestyle level, which is great. And I've just ridden like the biggest pleb ever in the show jumping. ring. Um, again, I feel really sorry for him. I the first couple really well. I just came in the corner. And I just, I just, I slightly forgot where the foot four was, and I was so busy looking where that was that he was disunited. And I did nothing about it. Bad riding, and he came to the corner. And he's such a genuine horse; he doesn't stop. Like, and he just, yeah, it was just like I'm disunited. By the time he got his legs sorted, he was one and a half strides off. Then came round, and he then actually jumped really well. He just had one, and then coming to the last, I'm not really sure what happens. I'll be interested to watch the video as much as you were because I thought I was on a really good shot, and he just seemed to put down on me. Whether it just shook his confidence a bit having that stop early on because he is a genuine horse you know he's not a horse that does that so whether it just shook his confidence and he was a bit like oh mum I'm sorry um so but you know I try a bit like Gordon I try and think oh I've got my crap right well I'm a crap rider anyway but I've got my really crap riding out of the way for Burley and Blenheim but just I, I'm I, you know it's things like this I try not to beat myself up about too much because I don't do it too often but I, you know I feel really bad for the horse so hopefully Blackjack won't hold it against me I'm sure he won't and well, you know, in, in a way it's quite nice because tomorrow it puts no pressure on. If it had gone clear, I might have been thinking about going a bit quick. But tomorrow I can just have a nice confidence boosting school-ish, school-ish, as much as he can run a freestyle. Jack, stop being annoying. Uh, school round and just let him enjoy himself. And yeah, like I said, there's, you can see now that us, well, so cool professional. I'm not sure he'd quite call me that after seeing that video. Even we make mistakes. But, you know, not his fault. And one of those rounds to forget. Um, yeah, so fingers crossed it only gets better. Hey everyone, so here we've got evidence of Jack's massage pad. Basically I said earlier that Jack, um, when we got back from the show jumping, I was really despondent because I felt I'd let him down. But actually, we, when I first got on him, I hate using excuses because it's always the way, when I first got on him he slightly dipped his back and I thought, oh, I've obviously eaten too much this week, poor boy. Uh, but, you know, he just wasn't, he just wasn't his usual self and like in the show jumping, you know, although I was a bit wrong to fence for, he normally would have just picked up and been like, oh, for God's sake, Mum, you know, you're so... So I think something was niggling, and then we came back and we took the tack off, and I ran my hands down his back, and he was just that bit sore. So basically, we've been massage panning and magnetting the equilibrium stuff all night, and this morning, touch wood, it's like a million times better. I'm going to get on him now, just go down, jump a few fences, which will video, so you can see, see how he jumps, and unless he jumps really, really well, we won't run him. Yeah, and, and we're already, I've only got to jump a handful of fences, just so I know... Also, how I get on, you know, if I get on and he dips his back, then I'll be like, mm, you know, I'm not happy. But, you know, these sorts of things, I think it's really important to have a little bit of feel and a bit of horsemanship. It's not about today, it's about the bigger picture. And, you know, he's muscle and blood and bone like us, and, you know, he can hurt his back. You know, I get out of bed in the morning and I'm like, oh, God, I need an aspirin. So, yeah, we'll see what happens, and then, yeah, after that, we'll see country jack absolutely brilliant didn't miss a beat anywhere um i went a bit steadier because obviously one i was really worried about his back and two there was you know there's nothing to be won by scorching around today um some of the stuff that i'd missed out because i'm one i'm crap at organizing a cameraman and two my dad took some video at the last few events which wasn't really pointless in, in putting up on the web so 
but basically the last few events, Jack had gone really well. He'd been second in the CIC two start brightling, fantastic double clear, really quick. But because he, you know, in the past has been quite a strong horse, we're keeping the, the bit a little bit hidden. So when I don't need to go quick, I keep him under restraint. So just keeping his brain settled. Anyway, that's enough of that boring stuff. Um, he was absolutely great today. No signs of him having a sore back at all, which. I, look, I'm always really sceptical about plugging like products and stuff because I, I hate sounding like a showman or a salesman or whatever. But last night this horse wouldn't have gone cross country. He was so sore in his back. And yes, we worked hard keeping the massage pad on and the magnetic rug, and the massage pad, magnetic rug. But you know, it made an absolutely massive difference. So big thank you and heads up to Equilibrium because.